number eight, worded question. The significant parts are we've got the circle representing the outside of the roundabout and the line representing a wall, and it says there mustn't be a gap, or rather there has to be a gap of more than five metres. Right. And it gives the equation of the circle and the equation of the wall. Is this gap more than five metres? In other words, if you go straight to the wall at right angles, will this gap here, will that distance, I'll just call that D just now, that's got to be greater than five, that's the condition. D has to be greater than five metres. Well, let's get some information from this then. So what's the equation of this circle? Well, straight away, you know, the centre is at the origin. I said that in the equation, but it's obvious from here. So the centre of the circle is at the origin. So I could just call that O. And the radius will be the square root of 225, which means the radius is 15, and all the units are in metres. So the question would be then, how can you work out that gap? Well, already I know that that's 15. So what I want is the distance from there to this closest point, which I could call P, which means how can I get the coordinates of P? Well, if you've got the equation of the line OP, you could find the intersection of it with this line here. And the clue here is that this line has to be at right angles to this line. Well, I could just rearrange that. 3y is negative 4x plus 100. So y is going to be negative 4 upon 3x, which is only what I need to do. 100 over 3 doesn't matter. Which straight away tells me that the gradient of the line is negative 4 upon 3. That means that the radius must be perpendicular. So the gradient of the radius is going to be 3 quarters. And since the radius passes through the origin, straight away I know the equation of the line OP. The line OP must have equation y equals mx, put plus c in if you like, but you know that c is zero, so y equals three quarters x. I know the equation of this line, which I could call one. I've got the equation of the line OP, which I could call two. And so I could find the point P by substituting one into the other, so I'll do that. What are the coordinates of P? I'll substitute 2 in 1. So where it says Y, I'll write 3 quarters X. So I've got 4X plus 3 times the Y. 3 times 3 quarters X equals 100. But one thing I could do is just multiply it to the fraction straight, multiply it all by 4. 16X plus, and then 9, because I'm rid of the 4, equals 400. That's 25x equals 400. So x will be 400 divided by 25, which we could write out, I suppose. But you know there's four 25s in every 100, so that's going to be 16. And then I can find y simply by using this equation. I could say substitute that in 2, which maybe I should have done. y is going to be 3 quarters of 16 from 2, using 2 which means y is going to be 12. So p is the point 16, 12. Which means what I actually wanted to know was the distance OP. So OP squared is going to be the difference in the x's and the difference of the y squared, just using Pythagoras going from O to P. Suppose I could set it out this way, I could say it's the difference in the x's squared and the difference in the y's squared. So OP squared would be 16 squared plus 12 squared. But then you know the answer to that straight away, I don't have to go through the Pythagoras for that. I know the distance OP, that's 4 4's, that's 4 3's, so this must be 4 5's, which is 20. So finally, what about this gap? Well, if the distance to it is 20, and the radius is 15, that means the gap is exactly 5 metres. So the question said the gap's got to be more than 5 metres. Is this the case? So the answer to the question is no. The gap is exactly 5 metres, not greater than 5 metres. Because it said it had to be greater than 5 metres.